Weekly here with Kim Couture. Kim, tell us about this fight that's coming up uh, next Friday at Strike Force. Oh, I'm getting ready. One more week. And uh, yeah, San Jose will be on HDNet. And I'm fighting Lena Vokov. You don't know much about it, right? No, and I hope I pronounced her name right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard it uh, pronounced correctly yet, so that was a guess. Mm-hmm. But you, know, you don't know much about it. You just sort of, what sort of game plan are you operating on? I mean, uh, what assumptions are you operating on when it comes to approaching the fight then? Uh, I've just been training everything and uh, working with all the guys here. So all the different guys have different, uh, you know, strengths here as well. So I'm prepared to go wherever the fight goes. She has a similar record to you, right? Uh, very similar background. Two amateur fights and one pro fight. So mm-hmm. should be equally matched. So what happened with uh, your injury? You had a jaw injury. And can you sort of just talk us through uh, uh, how you got cleared and, and, and how long you've been uh, in, in, uh, in training? Um, broke my jaw at the last fight. It was June 20th. Um, I had to stay broken for about four or five days before I, uh, I got a second opinion and found a specialist. Didn't have to get wired shut. And um, he put the steel plate in my jaw. So I broke it in half here, and then I broke it up here. So steel plate, and then reset this so I was able to eat real food. Didn't have to uh, use a straw. And um, about three weeks after surgery, you know, I played a lot of golf in between there, but... <laughs> About three weeks, I started uh, training with my strength and conditioning coach and um, rolling, doing some jiu-jitsu. So worked on that for a while and uh, started working with a new boxing coach, Gil Martinez. And so hitting mitts, kicking, doing everything. Um, five weeks ago when I got approached with this fight, I uh, went to the doctor and asked if I could be released. And he checked everything and got the A-OK to start sparring. So I've been sparring ever since. So Strike Force actually approached you about five weeks ago and asked if you could fight, or? Well, HDNet is covering the event, and uh, uh, I have my event that I put on at the Thompson Mac uh, on October 11th, covered by HDNet as well. So um, Andrew Simon kind of bridged the gap. They had a girl fight scheduled that fell out, and Andrew said, "Well, why don't you call Kim? She's training. I heard she she's going to get released." So that's how all that came about. Mm-hmm. So what have you been focusing on in this training camp? I mean, wh- where do you think you're at in your, your evolution as a mixed martial artist? I think it's actually the combination of trainers that I found right now that really fit together nicely. Um, they complement each other, Gil Martinez, and I've been working with Ray Seppo. Um, so the footwork that they've been having me do, putting my kicks together with my boxing, um, has been fantastic. And um, uh, I always do my, my uh, jiu-jitsu with Robert Drysdale, and he's just amazing. Mm-hmm. So... Um, Randy, you know, does my wrestling, and that's always fun. And I just feel like everything's really coming together right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it even possible to really uh, sort of envision how this fight was going to play out, you know, knowing so little about your opponent? No, I have no idea. I know, uh, I know what I want to do. So just focusing on that and sticking mm-hmm. to my game plan, and that's it. So I mean, in, in, when it comes to game plans, is it's basically just like. To impose your will, basically. I mean, it's it's hard to sort of uh, uh, to gather information. You're saying in, in terms of uh, what your fighter's going to do. So you just basically have to, you know, go through with yours. Right. And you know, I've reacted to everything that's been thrown my way in here by all the different people I'm working with. So mm-hmm. I feel like anything that gets thrown at me, I'll be prepared to react to uh, whatever that may be. Now here you went toe to toe with a, a pretty famous Brazilian the other day. <laughs> yeah, I got some sparring in with Vanderlei. <laughs> That was, was a tr- that? that was a treat. He's a very good sport and uh, very inspiring. Um, it was a good thing, you know. I'm, I'm feeling very confident with my boxing, and so was he, or he wouldn't have gotten in there with me. Did you catch him? Uh, yeah, he he was going good and, and would turn it up and control it. You know, as I'd turn it up, he'd turn it up, and uh, he's just such a great guy and, you know, has a few pointers here and there, and it was good. I loved it. So you got four fights, and it's your fourth fight in the year. Um, you've had two amateurs, and this will be your second professional fight. Is, would you like to fight four times a year in, in 2009? You know, I would love to, but um, I feel like if I, I can help all the guys out and throw more promotions, you know, I'm doing I'm fighting for fun. So if I can do some promotions and help these guys out, you know, have nine fights on a card and be able to ultimately help 18 people out financially, you know, and help their families, then, you know, it'd be pretty selfish for me to just continue to fight if I have the power to put a show on and, and help all those guys. So mm-hmm. uh, I plan on 
on doing six shows next year. And, um, you know, everything's subject to change, but that's my plan. Keep doing shows. And if I get a good crew behind me that uh, is capable of putting on the show and getting it organized, you know, far in advance, then I'd love to fight on, on my, own, my, own, my own card again. Mm -hmm. um, but I love dealing with Strike Force. They're fantastic. And I'm sure if they asked me back, I would definitely consider that. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be yeah, six nights of combat in, in 2009? I'm, I'm hoping for six. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't solidified all those deals yet, but uh, that's my plan. And um, I don't know if I'm going to call it Night of Combat anymore. I might uh, change it to uh, Couture Combat or Extreme Couture Combat. Hmm. Change it up a little. How was the last one in terms of uh, the experience? Did you did you like it? Did you... I did like it. I, I feel like the people that didn't show up really missed out. I think there were great fights. Everything looked good. HDNet always does a fantastic job. They're very supportive and very good for the sport. Um, and all my guys really, uh, really did well. Not just my guys, but all the opponents. Like everybody went there to fight, and there were some really good matchups. Mm -hmm. So I was very, very happy with that. Mm -hmm. So what do you see happening next Friday? Next Friday, um, I'm excited. I'm just fortunate to to get cleared and be able to get back in there. I mean, I think. Uh, I think everybody took that break and that uh, that loss much harder than I did. Um, I thought it was good for me, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like it's changed me inside, and I feel very focused and just really excited about it. Cool.